Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello again. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act 2. And as you know, today is the day that Art and I do our weekly blog, our co-founder's blog. Right, Art? Hey, yes. Uh, or it's called other things, but... Uh, uh, <laughs> Well, oh, but, we don't want to hear what well, they call it. Well, that's right, but we're just glad that you, you, you watch us at all. Uh, <laughs> hey, John, you know what? Um, I remember about uh, a month and a half ago, we were talking about it was almost the beginning of November, and I was saying, you know, November 1st, I bet we, within a couple of days, we're going to start seeing the Christmas lights going up. And some people yeah. like to call them holiday lights. That's bull. They're, they're the Christmas, this is Christmas season. Get over it. Okay, anybody who wants to be politically correct, get over it. They're the Christmas lights. We can call them the, the seasonal lights or not. They're the Christmas lights. And, and that's all well and good. It's very festive. It's wonderful. Well, very festive. Okay, so, okay. so anyway, here's my question. So the day after Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving weekend was uh, Hanukkah came real early. It's a Luna-based holiday. Right. And uh, before you knew it, Day one, day eight, they were they came and they went and everybody was happy. But it was really early this year. Normally, it's a little bit closer. Rarely does it really hit the same yeah. days as Christmas, but sometimes it does. But anyway, it's long since gone. And uh, now we've got Christmas coming up. Okay? It's, it's here. I mean, it's, it's uh, so around the corner that it's, what, tomorrow? That's, day after, I don't know what, coming yeah, this week. That's right, so at the end of this week. So uh, what's going on in your neck of the woods? Uh, did they take down the lights already? Because I know they put them up kind of early <laughs> this year. And November 1st, I was driving back at about 4.30, 5 o'clock. It was really getting dark. And they were putting the lights up, and, and half the trees were already lit on, uh, we live in uh, Mission Viejo, on uh, La Paz, uh, yep. going towards the uh, city hall. And the trees were already wrapped, and half of them were lit up already. And by, by the following day, they were all done, November 2nd. So what about uh, your neck of the woods? And uh, do they take the lights down already, or uh, are they going to keep it up for uh, you know, through Christmas? I, I, you know, everybody's different. We've got a couple, as every neighborhood does, we've mm. got a couple of neighbors, not very close, but, you know, close enough to drive by all the time, mm. uh, whose job it is to have every lit decoration you possibly can find <laughs> and put it on your lawn or your roof. Yeah. Uh, and actually, I kind of admire those people because it, it's their job to, you know, brighten the whole world for two weeks or a month or whatever it is. Right. And they usually don't take them down too early. Thank goodness. I like that. I, mm. you, you can keep all your lights up for another month for, for my taste. I, I love the idea that we're... Uh, uh, extending the holiday, uh, right. but and you know, it, and interesting, you said Art uh, that Hanukkah came early this year. I thought that was a great thing, even though I really like it when Hanukkah and Christmas kind of coincide. Uh, but I thought it was a great thing because it kind of gave us an excuse to have all those lights and all those banners and all those season greeting stuff up. Are you right mean after it's, Thanksgiving? You, you mean you think they did that for Hanukkah, huh? I don't. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> right, I'm expecting. I'm expecting that uh, next year it's going to start creeping. Well, like next year, or the year after, they're going to start putting the lights up around August 30th. Yeah. Okay, but anyway, all right. So you yeah, like it was really, it was really thoughtful of uh, the the towns to light the trees uh, early for Hanukkah. But now that yeah. let's, let's not change the subject. So okay. what's going on now? Also with, Okay. You can also be like my son-in-law and leave the lights up all year round. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> actually, there was a there's a, a restaurant I ate in um, the Midwest someplace by the Strategic Air Command. I went to visit them once, and uh, they had uh, their patio. They just never took the lights down. It was like the little twinkly lights yeah. all over. And it was kind of nice because in the e evening, you always have those lights up. But anyway, so do you, uh, do you put a lot of lights up at your place? No. Well... My children seem to do that, but I don't. I we yeah. we have over the years downsized. We don't do a tree anymore. I know, I know. Yeah, shame not on even, me. Not, no not even a Hanukkah bush. 
of not even a Hanukkah bush. Wow. We, we downsized the Hanukkah bushes, then we downsized to nothing. Right. <laughs> we but, put out some garlands. We might put up some lights, maybe, maybe. And, um, uh, you know, the big thing is getting together with family. Right. That's and, it. And, 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 a and, nice and, Christmas great. dinner with as many people as we can get to get to arrive as right. possible. Yeah. So and, and, uh, and gifts also at our age are really gifts. What do you need? What do I need is I need a I need somebody to pay for the burial plot. Okay. Right. That's or, what I need. Okay. So you see that's that's the little difference with it. To me, the gift is waking up every morning. <laughs> but yes. But that yeah no that it's you know Christmas is still a, a wonderful festival. It's a religious holiday for me. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not just a social holiday, but. Um, it really is about family and it's about uh, family and friends and um, gift giving is particularly at, at my age. It's just, not a, I, there's nothing that I need. I should be giving stuff away at this point, you know, instead okay, of getting We'll, we'll stuff. talk about that maybe offline. Yeah. Because there are a couple of pictures hanging behind you that I, I really <laughs> okay. want. Could you mark right. them to, to yeah. my so, name? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, we don't, we don't do big gifts. We, yeah. when uh, the kids same. were young, There'd be bicycles under the tree. There'd be, you know, packages the size of a, you know, a house. So now it's, uh, you don't know what to get the kids, the the grandchildren. You don't know what to get them as a teenager. You don't know what to get them as little kids. You have no idea what they're going to like. So what does it turn into? I don't know, candy and Buckeye candies and, and gift cards. Gift and, cards, right. So they could buy their own like music that. on. So it's. Right. It's everything my mother told me you shouldn't do for a gift. You know, you should, <laughs> you should think about it. Think about that person and what would they, what would they really like? Who are they and what do they want? Now, take a gift card and get off my back. <laughs> it's about the same thing in, in our family, uh, although we we uh, do have to admit that uh, uh, one of my daughters, Cindy, is far and wide known as the best thoughtful gift giver. Ever. Oh, there's never been a gift that she she there's never been a gift she's given either a sibling or a parent or uh, a, uh, a niece or ne in her case a niece or nephew the, the grandkids that was an absolutely well thought out whether it be a game and it was a game that particularly this grandkid would yep. love and the others could care less about and she'd always yep. be a, she's always able to do that so. Uh, uh, she should have been a, what do they call these uh, 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 people who buy stuff for other people to give to other people she just yeah. knows that stuff but everybody else, you're right it's uh, for the older grandkids until they get too old is a uh, $25 gift card or something like that for yeah. uh, Amazon or somebody so they can go buy their own stuff <laughs> buy their own toy right. yeah. something, that, something that they'll throw away that, but they've chosen it as opposed to throw away and never use that we've chosen yeah. So speaking of um, people who are thoughtful gift givers, mm. which are the best kind, they're very rare people. The last time that happened in my family was easily 50 years ago. <laughs> my cousin Nancy was living with us. Mm. And um, I, I, all I remember is we, the, the toaster oven, not the toaster oven, but the toaster mm. might have been before toaster ovens, but the toaster went out. And uh, it was burning the toast. Everybody had burnt toast all the time. And I think my mother had said something about, oh, man, I got to get a new toaster, you know. Well, that Christmas morning, she started opening gifts. There were no less than four toasters mm. <laughs> from my mother. Everybody came up with the same idea. Four toasters, and we I don't know what we did with them all, but... We had a lot of toast that year. Mm. And only half of it was burnt, right? <laughs> anyway, um, it's a wonderful season. And I think uh, it's a good thing um, socially, if you want to call it that, uh, that we have Hanukkah and Christmas together because it makes it much more of a national uh, giving thing. And by the way, have you heard of Giving Tuesday now after Thanksgiving? No, is that anything like Green Wednesday? It's yeah, it's like Black <laughs> Friday, and now it's Giving Tuesday, and it and the but 
Giving Tuesday is a lot better than Black Friday, I think. But the the idea is that um, it's the giving season after Thanksgiving, and we're moving into the you know the holiday season, and therefore we should be giving to charities hmm. uh, on the Tuesday after Thanksgiving. I think the, there's a something that. On a Monday after Thanksgiving, it's like maybe Electronics Day or I don't know, whatever it is. But anyway, Giving Tuesday. Of course, that's gone now. Now we're up to Christmas. Which is now, take, what, take this year it's called Taking Friday or Taking taking Saturday. Taking, not giving. Yeah. <laughs> Grabbing Saturday. Anyway, so one last thought for you, and that is that uh, my mother uh, and her family used to celebrate the 12 days of Christmas. And right, you remember right. that song, uh, right. Partridge in a Pear Tree and Four Door. Right, door right. it was stand. like, you got eight days of Hanukkah, you got 12 days of Christmas. We'll show yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, the, the 12 days of Christmas was, once upon a time, a real thing. And I guess maybe it's still celebrated in Eastern European countries. I don't know. But um, it starts Christmas Day, and it goes for 12 days, and ends on the day that the, the Magi traditionally 12 days later the magi showed up mm. with those, the gifts those are the three so, smart guys yeah the three the three wise guys so they they um, the idea was you give a, a small gift every day and then the big gifts don't come on christmas they come on what's the called the day. epiphany the the, uh, the 6th of january yeah. and of course this year we celebrate the 6th of january as a uh, insurrection hoax you know, so that's that's where we are these days. What can I tell you? All right, so tell us how you really feel, John. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I wish everybody a happy Christmas. Happy Christmas to you, Art. Uh, and I know happy Hanukkah to you, John. A happy Hanukkah, and I enjoyed Hanukkah as well, I by know. the way. Mm -hmm. um, and it's mostly the joy of the season. We we want that. That's the universal message between all of these holidays is is uh, goodwill to men and joy and peace on, you know this stuff better than I do, Art. Absolutely. And so to all of our, uh, everybody in our audience and your families, uh, have a very uh, Merry Christmas. And I, uh, well, well, we'll get to Happy New Year next week. We're not such a Happy New Year yet. Wait till next week. And <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed your Hanukkah and whatever else you do or do not celebrate, but celebrate with family. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.